So as a landowner for Alluvium, I'm paying close attention to the price of fuel in any and all updates that are coming with Alluvium Zero. So just about two weeks ago, we had a big bombshell upgrade that really sliced the production of our fuel by 75%. After that, we did see the price of fuel go up quite a bit, but over the past week and few days, fuel has been trending back down and we're almost back to that same floor we were at two weeks ago. So I'm gonna play a quick clip here. I'm going to show you a post from Aaron, talk about what's coming up with Alluvium Zero, and then I'm going to talk about what my personal strategy is for optimizing my fuel and getting the most out of it. As always, none of this is financial advice. Like, comment on this video, use my creator code Najafe, N-I-J-A-F-E, and let's get right into it. So this is a quick clip from the AMA that Scoriox and Sam had with Kieran just a couple days ago from the recording of this. Now we've got to get a payback to those people because it was an investment. Talking about the landowners. But at the same, so there's there's multiple things that we're doing. We've just hired a new economist. Uh, we've just hired uh, a new game designer that is dedicated to uh, Alluvium Zero. There's a ton of new features that we're, we're building into it. There's a ton of ways for you to actually use your fuel, which isn't just selling on the marketplace, which will derive value from your land. And all of those things we're absolutely doing. All right, so you can see there, there's a new economist on the team. There's a new dev working directly on Alluvium Zero. In other parts of this AMA, he talks about mega cities should still be coming soon. But with all of this, we're looking at more sinks for that fuel. And just throughout this AMA, he also talks about a lot of other things that are coming to other areas of the game. And really, that's what we need if the main game and the rest of Alluvium is doing well. That means there's more people paying into the system and the landowners that are getting that 5% share, you know, it's going to go up anyways. But just looking at the, the fuel side of things in the sinks, I do see the supply of fuel being sold to the market, possibly trending down, making the price go up. So this was a post from Aaron. This was a couple weeks ago at this point. The main thing that I want you to see here is this top line underlined here. It says, note that beyond sales will be in fuel from now on, not ETH. Now this is something I actually suggested over a year ago, but it looks like that's what Aaron's gonna be pushing through. He does say unless it's blocked from the community. So it looks like he's gonna be putting through an IIP to allow this to happen. But back when I put through IIP, what was it? 49R, I think it is, I forget exactly which one. Around that time, I was suggesting that landowners should get 5% of all games, including Beyond, and that the easiest way to do that is just to purchase Beyond discs with that fuel. Um, And just another note I had here too, another feature that is coming soon, Kieran actually said that it's pretty much ready to go. It's already built. They're just figuring out when to release it. It's for landowners to send the fuel that they're creating directly to their own overworld account to use that fuel. And if you think about it, that's just another sync because, because if fuel is going directly to that person's overworld account and they're using it to play, that's less fuel that's being sold to the market. So if you out there are selling fuel to the market, price go up, hopefully. Let me just go to this quick, because this was just a quick way. I had this in another video that you can kind of just find out the, the price of fuel. But also you can look, just the other day, I made a couple purchases. Solon, I got over a 200% bonus on that. Hyperion was just about 200% bonus. Um, and Krypton was about 170% bonus. And that's off of the top rail. And if the top rail is the max you can get, and you're selling right now, you're basically missing out on 200% of what you could get if you were able to sell it for that max price. And if you're going to sell fuel, a quick way to find out the actual price is to get this number here plus the bonus to add up to about a thousand. So I already figured that out here. You know, 381, 619, you know, adds up to a thousand. So you move the decimal point over three spots here, and the fuel price right now is actually, you know, 0 0.05099. All right, back to here. So what am I doing with this strategy? For one, I'm I'm really not selling my fuel right now. I am I'm continuing to upgrade my storage and to just store the fuel there now. In the short term, yeah, fuel can continue trending down. And I actually do expect that over the next, you know, two, three, four weeks. But then when we start getting these updates and uh, in Alluvium Beyond Wave 3, I do expect the price to go back up. And what I'm doing is I'm maxing out my expensive structures but really all structures. But right now I'm maxing out my scanners, my material labs, because those are expensive. You're you're looking at spending 100, 150, 200 units of fuel to upgrade those. But I'd rather use that fuel now while it's cheaper to upgrade my structures on my land rather than trying to sell it to the market now for so much lower than that rail. And then when I really need to upgrade these structures in the future, then I'm using a more expensive fuel to, to do it. And then on top of that, I'm focusing on biodata and blueprints. So right now with the biodata, 
once you collect a biodata for one particular alluvial, you can't collect that same one again. So if you're continuously searching for these, you're eventually going to get all of them. And even though I am maxing these out, if you really wanna be efficient with this, I have noticed that you're probably better finding you know, all or most of the biodata from, from the tier one alluvials with the stage one scanner before you upgrade to that stage two. And then again, you know, finding as many as you can at stage two before upgrading your scanner to stage three. Cause I went to just upgrading all my scanners to stage four and five. And sometimes I'm still finding tier one and tier two alluvials with those scanners. So you might as well have already found those when you could pay for it at a cheaper price than maxing out those scanners and then, you know, still paying more fuel to get those lower stage uh, biodatas. And then again, maxing out my material labs and I'm really just doing my best to search for the higher tier alluvials. So I have a couple, you know, tier fours and a tier five biodata right now. So I'm just using those until I find those blueprints. All right, so again, some of the sinks that are coming beyond wave three, um, that is expected at the end of September early October. So I would say in the next two or three weeks, we'll probably get an update that says when beyond wave three is going to be coming. Uh, another sink is sending the fuel to yourself. New structures. One new structure that we've heard Kieran talk about is a structure that could re-roll the stats of alluvials. That hasn't been confirmed to be a structure on alluvium zero land, but it looks like the stat re-roll feature is something that the team is working on. And I just hope that it makes its way into alluvium zero as a structure. Some other notes, mega cities again, coming soon. Uh, and one other thing, about not selling your, your fuel now and just kind of holding it in a storage. And I don't expect this to happen, but say the team decided to cut fuel even more, cut fuel production even more. If you're holding on to a chunk of fuel and they go and cut the production, then what you're holding is likely to go up in value a little bit, or at least not continue down at the same rate as it was before. Thanks for watching the video. That's all I have for this. Let me know your strategy down below. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just the strategy I'm taking from understanding this ecosystem pretty well. Use my creator code, like, share, comment, uh, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.